Next topic in computer graphics is a Z buffer algorithm. So in this video, I'm going to explain what exactly the Z buffer is and the algorithm of the Z buffer example, advantages and disadvantages of using the Z buffer. Okay. So the Z buffer is also called as a depth buffer. We use, uh, we call it as a depth buffer and it is uh, the simplest and widely used algorithm. So this Z buffer is the simplest and widely used algorithm. It is an image space approach used for the hidden surface detection. So actually there are two types of uh, uh, approaches will be there. So I already said one is the image space approach and another is the object space approach. Object space approach. So image space approach uh, is used to implement implements in screen coordinating system. So this is implemented implements in screen coordinate system. Okay. So the uh, image space approach is used to implement in screen coordinate system. Whereas the object space approach is used to implement in physical coordinate system. So physical coordinate system. So generally this object space method is worked for the back face detection algorithm. Back face detection algorithms is worked on the physical coordinate system. Whereas the image space approach, image, image space approach is used for the hidden surface detections. So generally it is work on the screen coordinate systems, screen coordinate systems. The main idea of Z buffer is to compare the surface depth. So the surface depth of Z value at each pixel position on the projection plane. Okay, so that is the main idea of the Z buffer. So here each surface is going to be determined the closest visible surface, the closest visible surface. So actually to overcome the disadvantage of back face detection, that is the uh, uh, back face detection that is hidden surfaces or not visible in the back face detection. So to overcome that disadvantages, we are using the Z buffer. We are using the Z buffer. So in the back face detection, back side of an object is not visible. If it is overlap or whatever it may be, the back side of the object is not visible. So, but here in the Z buffer, if you take the multiple, uh, multiple images, multiple surfaces, each surface is determined separately. Each surface is determined separately in Z buffer. So object depth is generally measured from view plane along Z axis of the viewing system. The running time complexity is the number of pixels time, whereas the space complexity is two times the number of pixels. So let's work on the algorithm. So then you'll get a clarity on what is this uh, Z buffer is. Okay. So uh, actually, uh, I already said each surface is processed separately one pixel position at a time across the surfaces. So one point here is Z buffer is efficiently applies on surface polygons on surface polygons. Okay. So here depth of every pixel has to be initialized. First you have to be uh, depth of every pixel, whatever the pixel that is present on the image at the polygon. So the depth of every pixel will be initialized. So to what? Let's try to initialize with the infinite, the maximum length. The depth of the pixel you are going to initialize with the infinite. Next color value for every every pixel has to be initialized so how to initialize so take the color value c and you first assign to the background color whatever the background color is there assign the background color suppose if every pixel is a polygon's projection if every pixel is a polygon projection then z okay z is of polygon at x comma y corresponding to a pixel i comma z that is finding depth if the z is less than the depth of i comma j then assign that z value to the depth assign that z value to the depth and the color to the c so this is what happening in this algorithm so we'll work on with an example so before going to this example i want to clarify here to override the closer polygons from the far ones a two buffers will be taken one is the frame buffer one is the frame buffer and another is the depth buffer. A two buffers will, are going to be taken. One is the frame buffer and another is the depth buffer. So frame buffer, anyhow I will explain with an example this. Frame buffer is used to store 
used to store the intensity intensity value of color at each position each position x comma y so this is a frame buffer frame buffer is used to store the intensity value remember that it is used to store the intensity value then what is what about the depth buffer depth buffer is used to store depth values depth values for x comma y position x comma y position so here the zero uh, depth value is zero is less than or equal to depth and it is less than or equal to one okay so see here in this polygon so let's consider this polygon in this polygon let the polygon initial points are 0 1 comma 3 0 2 comma 3 1 2 3 and 3 4 3 okay these are the uh, placed on the <laughs> 2 d plane so 2 d or 3 let us assume that the depth of every pixel is infinite according to the algorithm the starting what is the algorithm it says the algorithm says depth of every pixel has to be initialized with infinite infinite value so initialize all the values so let us consider this box so initialize all values with infinite next on applying the algorithm the depth value z at every pixel in the polygon is 3 if you clearly observe so in every uh, the coordinates the z value is the same 3 3 3 3 so the z value is 3 at every place so the, the depth, depth value is nothing but the 3. Depth value that is the z value is 3. Okay. So, after a little tilt, try to uh, make a little tilt of the z object. Okay. Whatever the object is there. So, little tilt. Let the new depth values. So, now change the z value which is goes from 0 to 3. So, here I change the value. Because I had made a little tilt. Little tilt. So it is 0. All Z value is 0. Here is also Z value is 0. So next it is going from 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. And here is 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Z value is 3. So these are the new Z values. See here. At first the depth of every pixel is infinite. Starting it is infinite. Now the z values generated on the pixel will be different. It changes to 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. So the depth values are normalized to the range of 0, 1. When z is equal to 0, it is called a back clipping plane. Okay. Suppose z is equal to 1, it is called the front clipping plane. Okay. So, this is about the uh, Z buffer. Uh, now, let's see the advantage of disadvantage of using the Z buffer. Advantage or it is easy to implement and it requires no sorting of surfaces in the scenes. It's very simple, easy to implement. And it can handle an arbitrary number of objects. Why it is handling the arbitrary number of objects? Because each object is processed one at a time. And the number of objects is limited to the computer memory to store the object. So, these are the advantages of using the Z buffer. Then, what about the disadvantages? If advantages are there, something is disadvantage also or there. So, that we can use another algorithm to overcome this uh, drawbacks. Disadvantages, double memory requirement is there. One for Z buffer and one for the frame buffer. That is what I said. So, there are two buffers or double memory requirement is there. One is Z buffer and one is the frame buffer. And spends time while, uh, while rendering polygons that are not visible. Okay. Uh, it has to spend the time while rendering polygons that are not visible. That are not visible. And it cannot handle the transparent surfaces also. It cannot be handled. And it causes aliasing since not all depth questions cannot be resolved. So, these are the disadvantages of using the Z buffer. So, I hope you will get it. Still, if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.